Everyone knows Street Fighter, yet I haven't owned a Street Fighter game until right now. With the new Street Fighter 6 out, let's see how far I can rank up and get good at the game. And I won't do this alone. I will have a friend who is also new to Street Fighter playing against me at the beginning of the challenge and at the end of the challenge. And I'll also be coached by the best player, which was a huge eye-opening experience. Now sit back and relax and watch 100 games of Street Fighter 6 as a new player. Here's what happened. Oh, okay. Sick. Oh, this music's bopping. I gotta play the tutorial. All right, here we go, boys. So I don't want to bore you with the tutorial, so I'm just gonna summarize it. Pressing right twice makes you dash. Pressing up makes you jump. You have three types of attacks. Your light attacks, your medium attacks, and your heavy attacks. And you could do the attacks in the air. And you can block attacks by holding back or down back. And punch and kick is throw. Throw beats blocking. And now the tutorial is done, let's go into game 1 in ranked mode. I didn't notice at first, but they actually matched me in ranked mode against a computer. Oh wait, is this a CPU? Oh, this is like a CPU. What the heck? Why did I say a ranked match as a CPU? What is this comment? Live commentary in the game? I find out later that you could actually turn off the commentary, but in the meantime, I'm just spamming my buttons, because it is a computer too, and I just don't really know what to do. Bro, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's like, well, I don't know what buttons does what. Oh shoot. I saw the computer doing throws, and I was like, I'm gonna do that, so I then start throwing him. <laughs> oh. He just grabs me, dude. What the heck? I'm just gonna do the same thing. God, um, boys. So that was my first ranked game, and they put me against a computer. Luckily, the next game they put me against a real player. All right, this is my first actual real life opponent. And honestly, neither of us knew what we were doing. We were just mashing buttons, mashing attack, not blocking, jumping in. It was crazy. God, I don't even know what to do, dude. Here's an example of me remembering how to block. So he's attacking me, and then I just start blocking him. Oh, frick. Frick, which one's my Hadouken? When I was mashing buttons, I accidentally learned how to do a drive impact, which has this spray paint color effect on you and allows you to absorb two hits. Oh, how did I do that move? Whoa. I don't even know what I just did. I just gotta hit him once. How do you do the Doken move? There we go, baby. So I beat him. Let's go. And I had to win one more round in order to take the set from him. And since I knew my projectile button, I just spammed it to see what he would do. <laughs> I feel so bad, dude. Oh, he's jumping. Whoa, how did I do that? Wait, what? Crap. Then I accidentally did my super moves, which is this number at the bottom that allows me to do three. Oh, how did I do that? What the frick? I'm just pressing X, or I'm just pressing Y and B, and that works? Okay. Interesting. So I got my first win on my first game and it was time to pick a main character. I tried out a few of the characters and I saw that Lily was easy to use and she was kind of fun to just try out and move around so I decided on maining her. I'm a big believer in using the beginner characters. So I'm gonna test them out. Interesting. Kind of like Lily. I'm just gonna watch a quick Lily guide then. Play Lily. My simple game plan with her was to charge wind, which shows by the HP bar my wind, and then to use my special move Condor Spire to dash in. When I have wind stocks, my special moves are strong, but without it, they're pretty bad. And that's all my game plan is. <laughs> and onward to game two, trying to use my simple game plan. Let's go. So I knew I had to get wind stock, and then I just go in Condor Spire, but I didn't really know what to do after that. Oh, whoa, that's a cool move. Bust the kneecaps. DJ was doing standing attacks and doing crouching attacks, mixing up my block, and he went through my defenses. Damn. 
before round two, I was having a hard time knowing when it was my turn to stop blocking and to hit him back, but finally I realized that some moves he did looked heavy. Okay, I get punished from there. I get careless, spamming out my special moves, which are very slow, and because they're slow, he just punished me with a grab. Then I lost that round two and the whole set. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Tech. I've done three out of ten games for my place in matches to see what rank they place me in. So next game, I was able to get close to him, but the lack of knowledge on combos made me not capitalize on getting in, but he knew some strings and I just got died. Damn. Ugh. Round two starts and in this point of time, I still don't know how to punish people standing up from the floor after my special moves. And you can see that a lot here. Great job in escaping that corner pressure and moving back to center stage. Oh my god, I should have hit him. Dang. And oh, did I also mention that drive impact also just beats another drive impact? Oh, but finally hit it. <laughs> the god. And then I learned from last match to use light attacks after my specials to close out this round. Ooh. I still didn't quite understand that without my win stocks, my specials are actually really bad, but I still use it and I got punished after that. Oh, uh, forgetting the thing. I realize if I'm up close to my opponent, I could just spam my light fast attacks and then that way they can't do anything. Get this man off me. Game five is the first time I played against Chun-Li and she has like a lot of crazy combos and for some reason I'm using parry when I should have just punished her attacks. Wait, parry kind of sucks. Just, just get grabbed. For the first time I use jump to avoid an attack and punish them after. Oh, whoa. Wait, wait, that was actually sick. I, oh, God. This round three would determine the winner of this set, and it was close looking at the health bars. I didn't know what to do after Condor Spire a lot, and sometimes I would just do another special, which actually was not the most optimal move. No! Oh, I'm so close. Baby. So it was time to fight my rival friend, Riku. He plays Ken, so this was going to be interesting. And it was a best out of five set. Let's go. Oh! Oh, I forgot this a thing. I forgot this. Thing. I still don't really understand like how do I use the whoa? How do I use the um like the new mechanic? Ooh. Dang. Ooh. I. What is that? I'm trying to get my buff. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, <laughs> let me not let you do that then. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Dang, I tried to show you can right there. It's still kind of hard for me to like do sure you can. Oh god. That's Nope. Oh, that hit me? Nope. 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 Oh, I got mixed up. Oh. Oh, nope. Ah. Came back. Uh, okay. okay. No, no, that was good. That was good. One, that was one, good. One, 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 one. <laughs> <laughs> You're so lucky I'm in a good mood. I'm not losing. Because I'll be talking the maddest of shit. <laughs> no, I can't lose this. No. Just a casual? I don't know what to do. Mid range. Can you stop doing that? Oh. I got you. Easy. Just clap. Stop that. Wait, oh what am I doing? God. Wait, what did I do? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I swear to God, I don't know what I just did. I swear to God, I was mashing. I was... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm... I need to... Oh, look at me. I'm... I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Oh, this nah, is nah, it, nah, boy. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That is not cancel. Oh, God. Never mind. Do fireball. Oh, that was a nice berry. Oh, I was being... Oh, I swear to God. I cannot... I, sw I cannot do a Shoryuken. I swear. This whole time, I'm trying to uppercut your ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh I mashed that. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I was in the air. Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. that's the wrong one. Yeah, so let's get punch. the damage. Get, get the damage. Oh, I can do this forever. Oh, wait, never mind. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Oh, shit, no, shit, no, shit, no, shit. What? <laughs> Hold on. Two, Hold on. two. Oh, no, 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 no. It's two, two, two. I have to win this one. I have to do this one. I have to win this one. Hold on. Let me, let me just stay silent real quick. Hold on. Tomahawk. I'm, I'm, I'm being a bitch right now. It's okay. We'll take those. Die. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I held down, I held down, I held down. Oh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, get your bitch <laughs> Let's go. Nah, I'm scared. Now, nah, like, that was super close. Now, I'm scared for, like, close. when you get 100 wins or 100 games. I'm. Uh, yeah, train up. The next time we play at the end of the challenge, who will win? Me or Riku? find out later. So game six, I play against Jamie for the first time. And even though I do drive impact, I don't know how to punish him after doing the drive impact. I just stand there when I could be doing like a really long combo. God, it's so satisfying hitting drive impact. God, what, what am I doing? All right, all right, I don't know what I'm doing. This Jamie was not respecting my drive impact. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was mashing because he was just doing his drinking move in front of me. <laughs> just drinking in front of me? At this current rank or elo that I'm at, people really have to be countering my drive impact by doing drive impact themselves. This is like the fourth time I hit it. This guy's just doing nothing. I played against a different Jamie this time, and I keep doing the same mistakes. Here's me doing Condor Spire twice without my win stocks, which is terrible because I could just get hit right after doing Condor Spire. so close i didn't know it at the time but my move choice after my normals my normal attacks like are stupid like this doesn't work and then i just get supered on he just uses super move oh crap dang alert supers beat Beats drive rush that sucks. So I remashed him because I think I downloaded him and I could probably get him the next time. And so I did. I noticed he was spamming a lot of his normal moves, and I think I could interrupt him with using my normal light attacks, which I did. Oh, get red on, boy! Let's go! So usually how I learn the game is I write down a bunch of stuff on my second monitor and then I read it. And one of the things that I just saw on my second monitor was to use medium punch, which is this move to keep them out. It's just like a little poke, like I just sent it out. And this worked really well to rack up some damage. And then the Jamie doesn't block my special moves for some reason. <laughs> he just takes the hit. Sheesh, get wrecked. Brother. And then he wanted to rematch me again. So this would take the cake because he beat me, I beat him, and then now it's the final tiebreaker. Who is going to win this last game? When I'm far away from my opponent, instead of me getting win stocks, which I should be doing, I for some reason use Condor Spire again, making the mistake, but it's bad. So I just get counter hit. Doing that is such a big blunder for me. God. And the Jamie was doing something that I still haven't learned how to do yet, and that was canceling his normal attacks into his super moves, which he then does here. Damn, son. Sweep me. 
<laughs> Not surprised I got rookie rank, honestly. So I finished my placement matches and I got placed in rookie. So now that I just got rookie three as my rank, I played against jury. The first jury in this journey. What? <laughs> but uh, jury is kind of a hard character to play against and you'll see after this. What is this character, dude? Oh my god, why does everyone know how to do supers from their attacks with me? Even though I hit her with my own drive impact, it's hard to anticipate an enemy's drive impact, and I keep making that mistake. It's funny how often I spam the drive impact, and a lot of times it would work, and a lot of times they would the enemy would spam spam drive impact and it would work for them but i just the punish after is just so terrible like what am i doing but anyway look how close this match was we were evenly matched oh my god i just need one hit yes oh my god oh jeez this ken was obsessed with trying to parry for some reason and i also just kept jumping in like a leapfrog the whole time I can't emphasize enough. Why am I not doing specials after my light normal attacks? I would I would combo. <laughs> what is this? Ah, oh, dude, why is it so? Oh, I think I'm dead here. Dang it. <sighs> It was hard to deal with Ken because he was blocking a lot and I didn't know how to get in. This got sweaty though. Look how low our healths are and we are 1-1 one, one in rounds. Who's going to win this game? Oh my god, I was so damn close. Frig! I'm starting to learn that being in the corner is bad, so I could just jump over them to get out of the corner. Oh, what move did I just do? So I won that game against the Jamie, and now I'm playing against the same Jamie we rematched, and I'm starting to get punished for just throwing out driving back Ramley. I just can't throw it out like this anymore. Oh, he did not do that combo last game. I was starting to learn when they're getting up from the floor, I could just grab them. Because most of the time, they're going to be trying to block. Okay, I might make this back. I might make this back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, no, never mind. <laughs> One of my special moves, the Tomahawk Buster, goes upward, and it's really great for getting people out of the air, or called an anti-air. Ah, that's what you get for jumping all the time, buddy. I really disregarded my tomahawk special move, so I did it more. Let's go. And then off that win, we got rookie four. Even though I'm playing against a lot of Kens recently, they all play so much differently, and it's so hard to like adapt. Like this Ken jumps up and then lands and then grabs me. God, I'm getting worked. What do I do? <laughs> alright, alright. Keep my space. Keep my space. Frick. Oh, I'm so bad. For some reason, he was jumping randomly, or it felt random, because... He would just jump, I would like not do my Tomahawk Buster because it would be hard to react to jump. So I'm just like getting hit all the time. And then this happened. Holy crap, how, I can't hit him. Dang, black Jesus. So now I'm playing against another Ken. This guy's gamer tag is Girdle Gundle Man. I don't, I don't know. But um, I just use burnout. I'm, I put myself in burnout. I'm not looking at the meter. 
and now everything I block is gonna be a lot longer. So that means I could get punished. So that's my downfall here. The more you get hit and not spend enough time hitting, you'll get put in burnout. Oh, oh, and if you go into burnout, you cannot use drive impact until your burnout runs out. And I took advantage of this. Oh, brought him back, baby. We rematched, and at this point in time, I don't know what to do while I'm in the corner. I'm not blocking, I should block and then just react to them trying to do drive impact and then I do drive impact back, but I just kept getting punished. Ken hard. So next game I play against a DJ finally done with playing so many Kens and a lot of the Kens were jumping and then doing nothing, making the opponent block and then you would just grab them because they're blocking. So I tried that on DJ. God crap. A new thing I was testing out and learning is that you could do overdrive moves, which just means that the special moves are powered up, but you use part of your green meter near the HP bar. Sometimes you're faster and sometimes you're stronger, so I was just testing it out. I just find it funny, I always have like full on three levels of super and I just don't use it. I gotta have to learn that. <laughs> learn supers are hard though. And then I figured out that doing overdrive spire or normal spire with wind into Mexican typhoon grab is really good. Like, so good. <laughs> Cause you're blocking. And then Manon makes the mistake to stay away from me, and then I just get full wind stocks back. Pew, 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 pew. So I forgot to record for some reason, but I beat that Manon last game, and now I'm rookie 5, playing against a Ryu that's gonna start spamming fireballs. How do I deal with this? Oh, I ran out. I gotta watch Burnout. All right, game 25. E Hondo is doing very long moves that I should have punished after I blocked it, but I just stand there. Dude, play against this guy. So I rematched him. When the enemy is on the floor, I don't know what to do when I should just be spamming a light quick attack move, but then I just get grabbed. Also, E Honda's headbutt move flies across the screen and it's so fast and hard to react to. But you just gotta like get ready for it and then just like impact drive or just use like a move that sticks out and hits him. Bro, that move is so fast. Oh. I still didn't get a grasp of doing my combo and specials out of my light moves, my light normals. So, yeah, I just fall back and get out punished here. Uh, it's so hard to play this game. This match was close. I didn't know what she was going to do if she had like a long range move. So I was just waiting, getting ready to punish it. Oh, I almost died, dude. I keep jumping in this game, but it actually worked out surprisingly This was the last round on the last game, and it was just hard. Um, 
I gotta learn to use supers because I am not using supers and I'm playing against people that are starting to do supers, so that's my downfall here. I'm so new at the game, it's hard to remember things such as like doing specials out of my normal hits and then also just like getting ready to like counter an enemy's drive impact with a throw or my own drive impact. God, so overkill. I'm at like one pixel of HP already, dude. I notice a lot of people that do spam meter where they go into burnout, they'll just back away and it really took some patience but also like t reaction to like when to go in while they're just backy up playing like turtling pretty much they're just like don't want to initiate Ooh, and then the yonda played pretty defensively just waiting for me to do a move and then he would just drive impact counter me just waited it waited me out Doing. Then this guy kept spamming crouching light attacks, and I don't know why, but I would just whiff punish him, just hit it while like his attacks out. I finally tried using my supers out of my normal attacks. Oh my god, I finally got the super down. I was getting more comfortable with using my light attacks when they're really close to me, or using my throws. And then after that game, we ranked up to iron. Man, the grabs. Hey, rank up to iron. Let's go. So the next game, I was starting to get a more feel for things I wasn't doing before. Finally, when they are on wake up, which means they're laying on the floor and then they, the enemy stands back up, I am using crouching light attacks. <laughs> Just spamming on the... So I beat the Chun-Li and then they rematched me for the next game on game 34 and I just remembered a few other things like charging when they're really far away from me, get my wind stocks, go in, do grab or light attack. It was easy. This guy just going autopilot, brother. And then finally it just all clicked at once to do my supers, to do light attacks or throws when I'm close to them and I went on a winning streak. What? How, how did you not punch that? Ah, uh, yes. The Kens that I keep playing against and losing against. This time, with my newly remembered skills I combined, I fight a Ken once again. Oh, that looked like I died. I realized that my Mexican Typhoon command grab is very strong of a move. So, just keep using it. Don't fix what ain't broke. Damn. Hey, Iron 2 already, let's go. And then the next game, I'm still trying hard to, it's hard man to like react to impact drive of the enemy. So that's where we're at. Oh, I should see that coming. I also really need a block after wake up. So <laughs> I just keep getting like attacked. I was trying out this mind game where if I just keep grabbing him and then fake grabbing him that he's going to think I'm going to grab him after he wakes up, but then I just hit him. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. That was close. So the next game I played against a Kami who zips and zaps, goes left and right. She's in the air all of a sudden, but I found success in just blocking and then just going in doing the same old thing. Grab two. And this is when I learned that super moves actually counter your drive impacts. Aw oh, crap, I should actually do that. That was pretty good play, this Kami. And then this Kami hit the craziest super somehow. Oh crap.
No, I was trying to do the super. Oh, I love that so hard. And then the next game, it was pretty rough against a man, and I really should block her because blocking against her is pretty good, but I just didn't. <laughs> Up. And then I'm pretty sure at this point I was going into autopilot, which is like I'm not really thinking about the game I'm just like playing the game um, So like like a autopilot plane, so this did not end well. I just could not react to her drive impact So I got demoted to back to Iron 1 and the next game I play against a Blanca for the first time, which is very weird. <laughs> Dude, what is this character? This is so weird. <laughs> this character is so funny. Dude, this guy went sicko mode on me. I had no idea what to do because he was doing some crazy combos. get this guy all right so i was fed up with losing so i went to the lily main discord itself bullied people to coach me for internet clout and i got a plat player named cerebro to coach me so long story short he said at lower elo they have slower reactions so i have to drive impact more try minimize the number of times i jump and then he said prove your reactions to drive impact he also mentioned be patient, slow down, and just punish the opponent. And also to try practice reacting to fireballs by parrying. It saves a lot of drive meter, like that time I ran out. All this coaching tips is all from Cerebro, so thank you Cerebro, appreciate it. Also, this is the first coach. The last coach is actually the one that's the best Lily in the world. And it was over from that point. Now he taught me that I could actually do a better punish after I counter drive impact them, which is back heavy punch into windstalk. And it was time to hit another win streak. And then the Marissa rematched me, so next game, play it again and just did the same stuff. And if I do Overdrive Spire, I could actually do a level 2 super to cancel it. Oh my god, that super setup is so much better to do. Let's go! <laughs> and then I got back to Iron 2 rank. So I followed the advice, just stay patient and punish their attacks with my own, wait till they throw out a move, and cancel my normals into special moves. Oh, okay, I won that. <laughs> I learned that my command grab is actually stronger than my normal grab, but my normal grab is it comes out a lot faster. So in this situation, I just do normal grab because it kills. So it was the next game, and the Ken actually wanted a rematch, and this game was pretty stinking close. That was close. And then the next game, I was on a roll and I beat Jury and got Iron 3. Yeah, Iron 3. And then the next game, the Jury rematched me and I just did the craziest comeback I've done yet. Oh, let's go. 
And I just remembered I underutilized one of my special moves, and that's my Condor Dive. And then the next game, I played against the E Honda, and I was kind of messing up my inputs here. I noticed he was jumping and also throwing a lot, so I did a throw escape, which means I just grab right after he grabs, and then we escape it. And then two times I died because I don't crouch block his low attacks. Oh my god, I gotta block him more. And then we rematch in game 49. Then his headbutt move is really good. I had to keep that in mind for the next round. Bro, how do I beat the headbutt? So I just had to play patient, poke him with medium punch, and just react with drive impact. So the next game, game 50, I was throwing out drive impacts very carelessly and they would just react to it and punish me for it. Damn it. Uh, it's just like last time. I didn't know this at the time, but Manon does more damage the more times she throws you. So she has five medals, which makes her do a crap ton of damage. Holy crap, that kills? That's hilarious. So the next game, I rematched her, and I did the good old command throws of my own. Got him! Let's go! All I had to do to beat Mana was to play patient and just let her come to me and do my command throw myself. And then the next game, I rematched her, and this ended up happening, just like the E Honda matchup. Ah, oh, dude, why am I not blocking low? And then the next game, I played against a JP, which I had no idea what I was doing. This was rough. What? Wait, how do you beat this? JP grab? Do you duck it? It turns out you have to jump over the throw one and block the other ranged ones. Bro, how do you beat this move? Next game, I got an impact drive, but they were in the air, so I didn't know which combo to do. I'm used to countering, punishing them with impact drive on the ground. No! Dang it! I don't know how to do when they're in the air like that. And then it went downhill from there. And then the next game, she was drive impacting a lot, and I would just grab. Dead. And then the next round, I messed up my inputs for my super attack. I did it too late. And the match was close. And did you know you could actually die just from tanking a hit in your drive impact? Woo. So next game I was playing against a Marissa. So I just used parry and then experimented with just dashing off parry because I barely did my drive parry. Baby. And then the next game we rematched and I learned the hard way that you kind of have to just let Marissa throw out moves You can't just charge in because she has armor on some of her moves I also learned she has armor break moves and moves that have armor so she broke my drive impact armor She has like an armor break move? So the next game we rematched and it was 1-1. I had one win, she had one win. And this is how it ended up. Woo. So 
was hard. And then she did moves that I was not used to that have a long amount of reach. Bro, I'm so confused. She has like armor that breaks drive impact. And then so next game I played against a Ken and this was weird. My throw wasn't registering. Maybe maybe Ken was just a little bit too far to reach out of my spire. Bro, why why am I not grabbing it? What the heck? And then the classic invincible dragon punch Ken move that I should have remembered that he has. So I have to block when he stands up. Oh my god. Oh, what? Do I just lose that? It's my first double KO. So I just been grabbing him, trying to jump over his fireballs, and um, it was a close game. All right, all right, here we go. Back to the game plan. Game plan. Sometimes I did my normal grab because it's faster than my command grab because I'm scared to mistime it. So I did that. And then this is the first time I did my level three with critical art, and I've never seen it before. What is that animation? Is it with burnout? I keep forgetting my reach for my command grab is actually really far here. Oh my god, the farther command grab actually reaches pretty far. I gotta do that more. And then the next game he wanted to rematch me and I actually did a good super setup to cancel my normals finally. Next game I played against a Ken, and I actually thought of doing my level 2 super, but behind them, like, to cross them up, and this went pretty well. Woo. Actually worked out very in a niche way. So I won that match, and I got Iron 4. I don't know how I forgot to record that part, but yeah, you can see at the top, I'm now Iron 4, and playing the Ken again. There's so much stuff in this game, like for example, my overdrive Condor Spire goes through projectiles, so now I just use that. There's a lot to remember. Gotta remember that goes through Hadokens. And the next game, 66, just using Spire into my command grab is just too good. Ooh. In the flow state, 66, baby! Hello! It's me, Mickey! Mouse! 68, I'm just losing my mind. Play, I've been playing way too long this session. And uh, I still win, I guess. And then I got massive 250 points from that, and I got promoted to Iron 5. And then I don't know if I was starting going in autopilot, or if Jury was like throwing and losing on purpose, but like... Yeah, this happened. Oh my god, I got perfected on. Man, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was on autopilot because I'm just doing the same crap. I didn't. I supered like when they were blocking. Damn. In the next game, I placed against a Chun Li that did really good in the neutral game. Like, I did not expect what she was going to do. She even did like a fast Hadoken projectile. Oh, what the crap? I was testing my overdrive spire into the level 2 super, but it's kind of hard realizing that then we just blocks it. Oh, what am I doing? I'm so dead, dude. Oh, dang. Next game was embarrassing. I just got destroyed by Manon, didn't know what to do. So this Manon knew that she was supposed to attack me with a light fast attack after I hit, after she blocks my spire. 
So that was the counter that a lot of people didn't know. First time I thought of the strategy to just back throw someone so that they're on the corner and then they have nowhere to go. Now that was epic. And then game 74, I learned that if you just spam light attacks while they're cornered, there's a, not a lot that they can really do. Next game I play against Akami and I forgot that if you drive impact someone and they block it near the wall, they'll just get like stunned and hit the wall. I keep forgetting about my other tools like that. Cami specials comes out fast, but I learned that I could just block them. And then I just hit a nice super after that. Yeah, I love my super. Let's go! Whoa! First time I actually meant to do it this time. Command throw too good. 76, baby. Bronze. Let's go! I got bronze, baby! So the next game, my first game in bronze, and I actually played against another Lily for the first time who didn't even use any condor wind did not build up wind at all oh that does so much damage and since the lily just let me charge wind and i kept space i just get my wind charge in and then it was gg This Lily didn't even charge wind. Next game, I played against Ken, and his biggest mistake was he let me charge back wind stocks. I also learned uh, kind of late that a heavy version of Mexican Typhoon is my command grab that has shorter reach, but it does way more damage. Bro, that kills? So the next game, I got bronze two now, and he wanted to rematch me, and he still let me get win stocks. And then I got a massive 300 points for that. Now I'm bronze three. Next game, play against Luke, and I flubbed my my input because I have to do like a full circle to do the Mexican type Mexican typhoon command grab <laughs> after my spire and like it was funny ah oh my god that was so close so on the final round against this Luke when I knocked him down I should have got wind stocks because he didn't let me get wind stocks like the whole match Also, I made the mistake that Spire with no win does not combo. Sometimes I'll forget that. Dang, I'm just forgetting. I'm spamming. Now, I was in trouble because this Luke actually knew how to beat my Spire into command grab combo by jumping. Oh no, he knows how to beat the Mexican Typhoon. No, oh my god. Oh. This guy actually knows how to beat it, you jump. The Luke was making it really hard for me to charge wind stocks by shooting projectiles, but I had to go in eventually. It was still really hard for me to react to seeing me hitting them and then trying to just do my super right after seeing to hit them, but it's just really hard and I'm misinputting. Second time I accidentally freaking. And then this was a really intense situation. He was just so close to dying. It's so good on the wall. So next game we rematched again because we had tied. So 
We play again, and I got so low, I didn't know how to get in, because if I took one projectile, I would have died. Oh, I knew he was gone. This Luke played so good, especially when I was in the corner. I didn't know how to, like, get out of it or attack him, and he just played a nice mix of being patient. Man, Luke is a rough character to play against. Oh my god. So playing against a Zangief again, and it was weird that sometimes I had to just jump out of his way. I couldn't block it or anything. I just have to like jump over him or use like an invincible move. I honestly really should have lost this, by the way. But I was trying to test my super out of my spire, but it's it's just really hard to like do the spot, do the super out of the spire. Oh, he let his guard down. Sometimes I think I'm a little bit too overcommittal with just using my command grab all the time. So because people are starting to jump it a lot. Just grab her out of that. And then I played against a Zangief that actually does his command throws or grabs. And now I need to start jumping them. <laughs> or I'm gonna lose. Oh, dang, you could grab her. Oh, that was good. That was good, Zangief. Yeah, doing a normal throw here would have killed him, and it's faster, but I should have just done command throw, because you can't throw tech or throw escape a command throw. And because of that, I just lost this round. Oh, I died. Oh, I was mashing there at the end. I also had to fix my anti-air problem, because a lot of people would just jump on me, and I couldn't react fast enough to know what to do. such a scary move bro but yeah that was my biggest downfall was not using my tomahawk buster which is my biggest anti-air tool do i am i forced to jump there next game this cami was nuts This cami was crazy. I probably think I was just surviving on like one pixel of HP. Holy heck. Nah, 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 nah. I'm staying in this, boys. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> so she won that game. And the next game we rematched and... I just got steamrolled. I'm just getting air grabbed. What do I do, right? What? Bro, how? What the hell? Is that air grab? How do you beat that? Yep, this is how you beat it. So next game, I played against a Luke, and I just did my usual thing to beat him. And then I made the same mistake like I always do, is not being patient, and I should be getting my win stocks, especially against a Luke, which I do not. Even when I'm far away from him, I didn't.
And then Luke did this. I don't even know if this was like, I could even get out of this. Dude, what are these combos? <laughs> the frick, dude? It's crazy. And then I got demoted to bronze too. So next game, I played against Ken. I had this in the bag. I already had one round win, and I just gotta win one more. And I have max super gauge, and I'm trying to do my level one super, and it's not working. <laughs> it was so frustrating. And then I finally did the hard input to do my level one super finally to win. Oh, the reversal worked. Oh, that was close. Which then put me back right back onto bronze three. There's so much stuff as a new player to just remember about this game and to keep in mind. One of the things I forgot is that if I'm on the corner, the enemy is going to want to drive and impact me a lot. And it's just hard to just like react to that and keep so many things in mind in this game. Oh, good. And I'm going into autopilot. I'm just forgetting like a lot of stuff. Like I'm not doing, I should not do my super when they block. I should not go in if I don't have win stocks. It's a mess. Ugh. I remember when, bro. What am I doing? So next game, we played against this Ken for a third time, and I had to stay calm and collected to remember my wind, and remember to just do super when they don't block. Fine. Got him. Seal the deal, baby. So actually, next game played against a Kimberly for the first time, finally. And she was using this shadow dash thing, so I would just, it was easy to react to. I just like hold my wind charge and then just attack when I see it. Easy clap. And then this is where I threw the game is because she was in burnout for a long time. So I had the upper hand, but I forgot that I'm not supposed to use my command grab after Spire if they're blocking it. I have to do like a fast or quick attacking move instead. Oh my god. Oh, she hit it. Dang. I tried to hit my super like too hard. And the next game, I realized when people would jump in the air, it was time to stop them. Finally. Time for me to do my down heavy punch to get them out of the air. I think I was a little nervous or something because I was doing my command grab way too early. They were still invincible from getting up. That's that's how they she would grab me. What? She have like invincibility or something? And my command grab was once again I did it too early. So I gotta work on that. Um, I was losing it. Maybe I was an autopilot. And the next game I played against Ryu and I thought it was about time to mix up just not always doing my command grab after hitting them with a spire, but just like spamming a light move as they're trying to get up. And then next game we played again rematch and I made the mistake of not using my wind stocks. So <laughs> I got it. It's hard to pay attention sometimes. But yeah, the game was close. I was getting more used to Ryu and like when I could attack after blocking his moves, so it worked out. Whew, that was close. So man, I've fought a lot of Kens in this journey and we're almost done, but um, a lot of Kens like to jump in the air and then do a low attack, so I had to anticipate that. I had a stand block and then crouch block.
I was missing my grabs not because of the timing but because he was tech rolling backwards so he so he presses two kick buttons right before he lands to roll back. And then I didn't have wind stocks, made that mistake again. I should have used my tomahawk. And that's how he was able to hit me in between my combo. Honestly, it's a lot better move if I just let Ken's throw out moves and then I've, I punish them after. Damn. And then once again, I gotta be careful of reversals. Ken has a super strong, super reversal where he's invincible for the first frame so rip i should have seen that coming kens do that ah! i'll try so hard to do my super dude autopilot is real <laughs> next game i could have just overdrive spire to go through the projectiles but you forget about stuff that's i guess that's the name of the game man just do ex next time and this match was really really close oh man cans are hard this is the most popular character let's go oh god Yes! <laughs> I got, got the normal grab, baby. Now, game 100. Is this the closest match of all time? Question mark? I rematched the Ken, by the way, for this one. Oh, this kill. Come on. Oh, this is this. No! Oh, I almost got my grab, but he has reversal, so that doesn't work. That was the last game. GG's, man. GG's. And now that game 100 is done, it was time to be coached by the best Lily player in the world. And then after being coached, hopefully I beat my rival Riku right after this. Nice. That, that's real, huh? Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Dang. The back dash. I figured the command guy was coming there. <laughs> <laughs> they have throw invincible. Wait, wait, wait. Her overdrive DP is. It's throw invincible and anti invincible. But it's not what? strike invincible. So I did not know either. that. Yeah, see? This is why we play, so it teaches you stuff. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a real meaty, too. Sheesh. That's plus eight. So, if you want, we can go to online train and I can show you some, yeah, some yeah, tricks. Because yeah. Lily's defense is, like, not the greatest. So, that's, like, her weakness. Like, her defense. Like, you do have EXDP because it's throwing it's ball and ain't. So, if someone tries to, like... So, like, if, like, let's say they knock you down, right? Yeah. And then, and then they're, like, jumping over you. You can EXDP. Yeah. Well, with the wind stock, at least, you can EXDP and it, it will beat their... um It will beat safe jumps. But if they just do a regular jump in general, it will beat any... Any okay. regular jump in. So your only real wake up option is gonna be this, like level one. Yeah. So what I want you to do is I want you to block this condor condor spire, right? And then I want you to press a button and I'm gonna show you like a, I'm gonna show you this is how I get people all the time. So you ready? So block do spire and then do command grab after that. And I'm gonna block it, I'm gonna block your spire and then I'm gonna press a button. Watch. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. See? See, I got counter hit because you're plus two. Oh, why does that so, work? So what happens is um, my fastest button is four frames, right? But you're plus two. There's a three frame gap. I don't know. Nobody in the game has a three frame button. So any yeah. button I try to press, even if I try to do regular throw, I would lose because you're, you know, there's no three frame button in the game. Yeah. The only thing that, that that will beat that will be like um like an EXDP or a super or like a drive uh, reversal or something. Like I'll show you one real quick. So um like just don't block or anything. Just like stand okay. there. So like this is a, a pretty simple. This one I did on you. So like. Uh, and then you do level one. That, that gives you like pretty good. Like the last hit does so much damage. So you get like 25% off of jabs, right? That's really good if someone's trying to flinch. And then once you condition them to block, then you can do sound like kicking to command grab. Oh, there we go. Dang, that reaches? That's crazy. Yeah, that's real too. So just just wait. When you get up, just just like press down like kick because that's your fastest button. Okay, yeah. 
That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I, found, I, I didn't find out about like someone actually DM me. Gotta get used to dancing with this. Jump at me real quick. I'm gonna show you like some stuff you can get when you, when people jump at you. Jump at me real quick. I'm gonna show you something. You see that? You get you can get pretty big damage. Oh, I see. So try it. Try it. Yeah, oh, same. I didn't do it. And then we watched some of my replays in ranked. Oh, yeah, you could have got the um, heavy oh, punch. Oh, yeah, I could have done heavy. Uh, oh, so bad. It's okay. Also, right here, hold on. He swept. He, he's sweeping a lot. If he, if he sweeps, you could just sweep back every time. Yeah, he, he you didn't block it, but yeah, the sweep is definitely minus 10. Or minus 9, it looks like. Oh, okay. You could do crouch medium punch into super because you had a bar. But also, that, speaking of wind socks, you want to you wanna do a light wind socks a lot, not the heavy one. Because the light ones are like, you know, recover faster and... Yeah. It won't. You won't get punished if someone. If you just happen to do it, Dipsy. That was really good. Nice. Get a free win stock if you want. So yeah, when you land, when you land command grab, you're always guaranteed almost characters uh, a a light win stock. But like after command grab, you're always guaranteed a light win stock every time. So yeah, right here we don't have the wind. You know what to do, right? You could do DP or you could do EX fire. EX fire will link. Oh, nice. I didn't get a free win stock here if you want to go for the OP. Oh my god, I remember this. No, I was so mad. Yeah, th so that dude, he he kept deep. He was not scared to EXDP. Um, he jumped a lot, and then uh, and then also he kept sweeping. So can can sweep is kind of cheap because it's like eight frames, so it, it can punish your Condor Aspire, which is minus eight on block. Remember, after the command grab, I know this is old replay, but just gonna burn in your head. After you command grab, always do the light win stock. Okay. Now, or you could, or when you get better, you could drive rush forward and crouch heavy punch, like I showed you. Ah, uh, yeah. So wait, so did I do it late or people's throws beat my throw? That was too late, right? Not too early. Uh, too early, too early. Wow, this guy got combos. <laughs> yeah, like what? Bro, I'm dead. <laughs> what? Like, what's this, like? I don't think this guy's a bronze. Let me be honest. Okay, well, like that, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I've never seen a bronze like that. <laughs> but uh, any other closing statements? Or... Uh, no, actually, I think I actually think you're not bad, honestly, for like the rank you are. I think you're like I just think you have like some things you have to work on. Like you have to work on your anti airs, which remember I told you, you can do in the you can do in training mode. Just kind of like work on like some of your pressure. Like don't always do command grab after the the block spire. Stand light kick, stand light punch twice. You know. It's a super mm. or something, or just nothing. Even like you could, you could just do nothing because like if you don't spend a bar, you don't really have a lot of options. You could you know you could like cancel it into like the another stand light punch and then like the crouch heavy punch into medium spire. But that's that takes practice. Practice your uh like just just don't be scared to poke. You know, stand medium punch is your best friend in this game. Like me, yeah. literally, stand medium punch is so good. The full forty four minute coaching session is on my Patreon if you want to check that out, and also check out El Chocote's Twitter and Twitch streaming streams every day. Super helpful, dude. And then with the world class teaching, it was time to do my rival battle um i'm bronze two okay i'm bronze three pretty close dang it <laughs> wow. i'm right here bro <laughs> <laughs> that is actually that's actually amazing oh you got a new skin damn that's really command grab yeah oh shit. uh holding that, that, was I not holding back? <laughs> was I not holding back? Go, game one. Was I not holding back? Check the replays. Yo, shut up. <laughs> that was a good game. Oh! Gotta jump those or backdash right, or DP. Okay. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I swear on it. No, it's okay. 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 Okay. Uh, swear. Swear. Swear to God. Swear to God. I swear. If I don't get one game off you, you never hear from me again. I'm gonna go crazy. You know, I'm gonna kiss you with this amazing combo I learned yesterday. This is not fair. You have so much better resources than me. Don't choke now. Don't choke now. Uh. You got me in my element. Fuck. Okay. Now you're right. You're... Ah, okay. What? What? No! <laughs> Whoa! 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 You so much damage that took? <laughs> no, that's fucking broken. I'm. Okay. No, I need to calm down. Hold on. Oh my God. Okay. Nice. Nice. I. S 
I'm leaving. GG's. Have a good have a good day. Have a good day. <laughs> he left. Oh, he's back. <laughs> After this, we're playing. No, I'm learning. I'm learning right, you yeah, and I'm yeah. learning like here. Let me let me teach you. Let me And thanks, Riku Uwu, for playing me. And let's talk about the stats. So I have 52% win rate out of my 100 battles. I play against Ken the most, and then Manon. And then I'd even play Blanca, Guile, and Dalsim yet. Nobody plays them, I guess. And my overall thoughts of the game is that Street Fighter 6 is fun. It's my first Street Fighter game, and I love it. I like how simple it was for new players to join in. And there's a lot of players to, to not get beat and destroyed by constantly. So you actually find people your level. The single player campaign is great, and I love the mechanics are easy to pick up also, but they also have a high skill ceiling, so advanced players could have fun with the game too. Thanks for watching my ranked journey.